Jim, you've got this uh, program that's eight weeks long uh, coming up to facilitate market entry and, and entrepreneurship for small uh, companies. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that program? Well, thank you. We have several Atlanta companies that have gotten together to create a great 80 hour long seminar series that's designed to teach you absolutely everything you need to know about starting a business, but even more importantly about growing your existing businesses internationally. We're going to show you everything you need to know about import, export, how to get into a new market, how to expand, and how to grow your business. Um, Give us some examples of some of the, the I guess, 100 and over 115 modules that you'll be teaching. That's right. We have about 115 modules divided into 17 big macro categories. Things like an entire day on how to be a great HR company. All the things you need to know to make sure that you're not violating rules internationally. Say you want to hire employees in Spain. How do you do that? Also, we have a day devoted to e-commerce, building your own websites, using SEO, and using things like new tools like Pinterest as an SEO tool. We have an entire day devoted to finance, how to deal with all of the international issues that come up with growing businesses internationally, the import-export finance mechanisms that exist. We have other days on marketing. How do you market overseas? Or if you're coming into the United States, how do you market here from Spain or from Australia? All of the things that you would need to know to grow your small business in all of the ways that are important. Uh, tell us a little bit about your background and how this uh, whole idea came about. Well, my partner Chris Hanks is the head of the entrepreneurship program at UGA. Uh, every three years we do this 80-hour seminar. And this year it's going to be sponsored by Wells Fargo, UPS, the Metro Atlanta Chamber, the World Trade Center here in Atlanta. And all of these companies have gone, come together to say, we want to showcase Atlanta as a true global city. And so we contacted with Sue Rager of Translate Your World, and she will provide the technology so that this event can be broadcast around the world in 20 languages, which I think is an amazing thing that's, I don't know that it's ever been done before. Our goal is to help all of these companies all over the world come into the United States and open offices here to employ Americans and to bring new and exciting products. So because we are going to use this translation capability, view, uh, viewers from all over the United States will be able to watch and around the world in their native language, they will be able to see the subtitles and participate fully in the seminars that we are giving. Tell us about the cost of this event. Well, that's one of the best things. Because of our great sponsors, the event is absolutely free, both if you attend live here in Atlanta or if you attend online. Uh, all eight days are free, so we really encourage people to sign up. And just as background, tell us some of the, the challenges that either international companies face coming into the U.S. market or U.S. companies face exporting. Uh, why is this information so important for companies that are, that are ramping up their international business? Well, you know, when you start a new business internationally, even if you're just exporting, every single part of your business has to be reevaluated. How do you get money from overseas? How do you reduce the risk of international you know, financial transactions? And what about the legal requirements of sh uh, shipping certain things? You, know, you can't send calendars to Vietnam, for example. And so we're going to show you how to learn what products are restricted, what regulations you have to learn to deal with, how to find the best freight forwarders to reduce your cost, and all of the other tiny little logistic details that will be necessary. And one of the important things is we'll show you how to translate your products goods, promotional materials into 20 languages so that you can do business in the native languages overseas. So if I'm hearing you correctly, it's the fact that you need to be looking at overseas markets. Um, I mean, you need to be conscious of the challenges of going overseas, but you also don't need to let that fear uh, take over and keep you from venturing into these markets? Well, absolutely not. You know, an American business is 11% more likely to succeed if they're importing and exporting. And we know that as one market goes down, other markets go up. You are very, very wise to expand into as many marketplaces as you can to diversify your risk, to maximize your income streams and possibilities. And this seminar is designed to help you do that. No matter where you're from, an American company going overseas or a European company coming into the United States, these seminars are designed to help you.